I mean, I think an Apple's trying to over Apple things. You end up with like the cube and the trash can. Um, and it's cool and it looks awesome. But for somebody like you who lives and breathes on their computer, I mean, you went away from Apple. So what were the... Why, Rip. Why did you go away from Apple? And being an Apple person, using an iPhone. Such an Apple person, right? Um, so initially... I was having a lot of issues with my 2016 MacBook Pro touch bar. So I got the version. It wasn't the very first version, but it was when they updated it to the KB Lake Mm -hmm. um, processor. And I was so used to just having no reliability issues. Uh, the, The one before that was a 2012 MacBook Pro. 2012 through 2015, the golden age. Yeah. I mean, those... ports. Ports, those laptops were so I mean you could drop it you'd be fine they were so not delicate and they were still pretty thin in regards to the time and oh just entering an SD card into that laptop what good times right and the display was nice and so I kind of went into buying this new 2016 MacBook expecting the same things from it and the touch bar the most useless thing ever the most useless thing ever what I mean what just keep the touch ID. That's basically all that we need. Right. Um, and the, I still to this day, I know people are like USB is the future and Thunderbolt three. Amazing. Great. Love it. We don't need four. We could, we could go with maybe two or three, put a USB, a put an SD card slot on the side. Um, and so connectivity was such a huge thing. When I travel, I need to be able to be as mobile as possible. I cannot have all of these dongles hanging off from everywhere in my little, you know, airplane seat, you know, you luckily. For, you, forget, you forget the dongle to attach. You're screwed. Like you cannot do your job. I can't tell you how many times I've had to like run to a Best Buy or run somewhere to just buy another adapter or buy a dongle. And so it really started with that. And then as I was testing out PC laptops, um, you know, my keys would become sticky. I got the sticky key thing on my MacBook. And so it was just really a frustration. And Premiere is shit on MacBooks for some reason. It is really bad. And I think, again, I don't think it's all Apple's fault, but Apple does Apple programs really well on Apple, but that's it. The moment you start bringing in other programs, I think that's when you start having issues. Um, I'm sure half of it is Premiere being buggy as hell. I mean, it really is a buggy program. But the moment I started editing on a PC, a Windows laptop, on my desktop, just not the same problems. And so it took me a while to figure out what Windows laptop, because yeah. I mean, you used the Surface Book for a while, right? Yeah. I, I mean, what, what, what was your experience with that? So I mean, the same thing. Premiere was premiering on it yeah but i really liked switching i hadn't looked at a windows laptop in mm-hmm. years i mean they've gotten so much better they've gotten windows 10 has gotten really good mm-hmm. and exceeds what you get for mac os in a lot of ways yeah. um so i mean i i, I get i absolutely so many more choices yeah. i mean you've got the xps that you love you've got the surface line razor you can pick yeah. um so apple i think is losing 